Well, hey guys, welcome to this video. We're bringing it to you just a slight bit different, calling an audible. Um, we are actually, we just actually just got done hunting this morning and uh, we'll bring that video to you another day, but we're gonna talk to you a little bit and show you the video that David had Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. And down here in the same spot we're at right now. And unfortunately, it was an exciting and quick hunt. Very quick. But the audio <laughs> didn't want to work for us. We do have some audio, thankfully, from the Tacticam. Mm -hmm. um, but it was after the fact because David, it ha this hunt happened so quick that by the time you got the Tacticam turned on, you were done shooting. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So we've got the video here. So we're going to kind of watch this, he and I, and kind of kind of walk you through what's going on. So we're right now, David, we're down in that corner. Right before the corner, yep. Okay, and you're just getting yourself set up and you got a new call. New call, but the uh, MFK edition Fox Pro X2S. And we listened to this thing before and it sounds amazing and it's it's got all the new MFK sounds in it. Yep. And, uh, and the high definition for that matter. Yes. The 24 bit. So you just set the call up into the cornfield there um, at about three, four rows in? Yeah, about three rows in. Okay. And right here, what are, we, what are you pretty much trying to explain what you're doing right here? Just explaining the setup, where the call is, where I'm going to set up at. I was probably about 15 yards off the field. Um, wind was perfect coming from the call across over to me coming out of the west. So it was... Uh, Wind was yeah, you can see the winds better, coming right at the yep. camera. I mean, so that's a perfect wind for that corner where we were set up. And we pretty much had the same wind on this morning's hunt that we were. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So you're you're down in there now. Um, you're up you're up against underneath the pine tree. Yep. Like you said, right off of the edge of the field, maybe shoot 15 yards. About 15 yards off the corn. Off the corn. Yep. Right off the farm road. Um, and he's just pretty much getting yourself all set up here is what it looks like. Yep. A cooler morning though that morning was that I mean, morning was 59 degrees when I got down here yeah and I know at some point in here if not here we can definitely see uh, your breath actually it almost yeah. looks like it's you know a, an early fall morning where it's 30 or some degrees yep but just getting everything set up here and what call are you going to start off with I started off with the uh, MFK Holland mofo I just did uh, three lone howls okay and I just wait I, all I was doing was waiting for a response and yeah, here you're gonna get into your howls mm -hmm. and you're using the MFK amp horn which kind of helps project those howls out for you it gives you a different tone mm -hmm. it magnifies it a little bit yep and this is your second howl And we watched, I watched this when I was playing this back myself after you gave me the footage. And from the time you actually get this last howl done, you'll set the amp horn down here and you grab your gun, mm -hmm. which is typically what we do every, every time we get set up and get yourself positioned. The counter, I watched the counter on the video clip. Now, folks, what you're going to be doing here is watching the upper right corner of this screen right at the corn and because you're going to see these coyotes come running right out of the corn. Um, and you'll see it. David will kind of be looking around. He kind of, I guess you may be hearing stuff behind mm -hmm. you a little bit, yep. maybe some deer or whatnot in the hollow behind you. But it was literally 45 seconds ticked quick. down after he gave that last howl. And he looks up the cornfield here. Because you can probably hear something at this mm -hmm. point, but you're not sure what. Right there is. And right there is where they are. They just come running out of the corn. He, he reaches for the Tacticam. Boom. Boom. <laughs> and it was over that quick. It was fast. <laughs> Real fast. Now that right there 
is the coyote that I hit. Okay. So then I picked the call up to uh, try to get the other ones to come back in. Okay. Yeah, I listened to that and I thought you actually started calling right there, but that is actually the the coyote that you hit and now you're reaching yeah i see you're reaching for everything and you're trying to get reloaded because you could hear the barking now if we listen closely here it's, you're going to hear the adult female start barking and what she's you probably think she's yeah yeah that's 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 the but that's still that pup no that's the call that's the call now okay and what is that sound that you're playing? Pretty much mimicking it's. That's um, that's the MFK um, pup distress X. Okay. So pretty much exactly what you heard off the real thing when you mm -hmm. shot, and you just played it over again. Yep. And you'll run this call for a little bit. And then I think once you actually shut this series off, now you can hear the coyote barking. And a lot of times what she's doing is she's trying to get those pups round back up mm -hmm. by doing that. If she knows something's up, she heard one of the pups distressed. Now, while we're listening to this, the cool thing we were talking about this morning was when we were walking in that morning, you actually heard those pups in the corn, yes. but you didn't realize I it didn't was realize them. It was Tell them. everybody what it was you actually heard. So it was like, a, it's, it's hard to explain. It's, it's not a wolf, but it was more just like a, like a, they were blowing at me. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a subtle, <laughs> And I, I stopped, I was standing there, and I heard it probably 30, 40 yards into yeah. the corn. Nothing registered in my head though, but thinking about it last night, those pups actually came from the direction where I heard that. I actually walked past them on the way in, and that's why everything happened so quick, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it seems like they were already in the corn. Doing Here we can hear the barking. And that's just amazing to be able to catch it. I mean, yeah, we don't kill something every time we go out hunting, but just to hear the different vocals and the sounds and to learn how they communicate with one another. Now here we're, you're, you're going out to look to see if you can find it. Yep. And you're kind of doing some search in here, but you told me something pretty cool because you're shooting the Apex ammunition mm -hmm. out of this. And you told me you could see BB holes. How was, far out into the corn? I was in the corn a good 75 to 80 yards, and I still had a pattern yeah. going through the corn where it was taking stalks down. I mean, it's there. These shells are definitely no joke. It's a it's a hard hitting shell for sure. If you've ever watched MFK um, <laughs> on their YouTube channel, that's all they use is Apex ammunition. They actually sell it, but the I mean, just watch it. You see what this ammunition does to put coyotes down, and sometimes they're pretty good shots that they're oh, yeah. taking. I mean, they get them up close and personal, but a lot of times they're they're taking some pokes at these things and through some thick stuff, and it just puts a hurting on these coyotes. But you're just pretty much searching as far as you can right now, but I know you didn't want to go in and damage no. uh, any of the corn. But you look for a while, and then you came back out and... Pretty much closed it out right here. Yeah. So, yeah. but I mean, for the most part, folks, that was that's how it happens for us sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. And unfortunately, David he had all the cameras in place to to be able to capture some some great footage. It just happened so quick, and you know, unfortunately, the audio um, there was dirt in the microphone, and uh, we didn't realize that. And he got that all fixed up yesterday and it's working mm -hmm. fine so but we had different camera and you know two people today it's a lot easier doing this when you have two and um you know instead of one but i mean that, that was an exciting hunt i mean those pups come in Absolutely. really really quick 
that was really the first real good encounter for this year for yeah. this year that we've had yep. with with them so hopefully we can kind of keep going but guys we hope you enjoyed the video it wasn't much to it but we did get a, the coyotes on on video in that corner there um we're sorry for the audio. That's why we wanted to share it to you like this, a little something different. It's kind of neat for us to be able to sit here and talk about it as we're watching you or as you're watching the video and we're watching it with you talking about it. So, hey, thanks for watching us. As always, click that subscribe button and uh, give us a like. Let us know what you think about the videos. Let us know if you do any predator hunting at all and maybe what you're doing. Maybe we should do something different. Um, you know, we'd love to hear from you guys. It means a lot. And don't forget to visit the Wild Bow Hunting uh, website on the outdoor shop. We've got some great shirts uh, available for sale and some trucker's caps like I have here. And don't forget the new arrow wraps are out and available on there. So we appreciate every purchase. It helps us out tremendously. All right, guys, that's it. It's getting hot. we got to go hang a reveal cell cam yep. up at our food plot. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Adios.